Hello guys! So I'm here doing a sa baked salmon sushi. I'm gonna show you how to make it my way and the easy way. So I have here a brown rice. I put a little sticky rice um, together with the brown rice so it's softer. And I put the furikake, furikake in the brown rice and also a rice vinegar. I don't actually have any, how do you call that, measurement to this, but I just do the eyeball and yeah, my family likes it. So this is how it's gonna look like with the furikake, um, the brown rice, a little of sticky rice, and the rice vinegar and then i have this uh, tray because i'm still going to bake it for a little while for a few minutes maybe like around 10 minutes so okay let me just go Sorry about that. Now, make sure that you mix it really well. And then spread it like so. Like this. And then, actually, I baked the salmon ahead of time so it will be easier and faster to bake for the second time yes. to add more of the furikake on top yes i like it a lot of the flakes and then let me spread more on this side it's not level so here it is and then you'll get the you'll get the um this one the salmon bait salmon and then you might want to spread it on top of your rice it depends um how much you want but i we love a lot of salmon so I, you only bake this for probably 10 minutes on 400 degrees because you're still going to cook this in the oven for another 10 minutes so you don't want to overcook the salmon but I think mine is a little overcooked but it's okay my daughter loves salmon so hello there you go and then more salmon on the plate okay okay yeah it's hot it's really really hot so be very careful might want to get a fork my daughter wants to taste the salmon so give her the salmon <laughs> and then you know my my recipe is actually very simple the salmon you just have to add um, garlic salt a little garlic salt and I put avocado oil I use avocado oil or olive oil, oil or any oil that you guys have at home but for me, we love to use the avocado olive and olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. But I prefer to have the avocado today. So. Let's go 
you can't see the rice because we have too much of the salmon there's more here um you have too much of the salmon but if you use the clear glass you can see the layering but um i don't want to be looking for our clear glass we have it but I'll just use this because it's already like one o'clock here in California, so we have to eat. We haven't eaten lunch yet, so this is our lunch. I'm doing two um, recipe today, and I have this. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it, Japanese mayo, but it's kyuki. But this is the mayo that we really, really love. So I'm gonna like this. And after putting the mayo on top of it, we're done. We'll, we will bake it. And if you want, you can put avocado. Avocado on top. Um, or, I think this is too much mayo, but we like to do it this way. Okay, you can spread it if you want to put designs if you want to do whatever you want but that's my recipe just put bake the salmon first put garlic salt and oil any oil and then um, cook the rice put your forikake your flakes japanese um multi purpose seasoning flakes or anything that's like this and then or if you guys don't have you can use this and just um um how do you call that spread it on top and then um i'll i put more of the flakes for cocky flakes on top of it i don't want it salty we don't want salty so the mayonnaise is already salty and this seasoning already has um salt in it so i'm done i'm going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes i think 400 degrees and then we eat it with this we wrap it with this seaweed it's a roasted seaweed so like i said the ingredients are you cook the rice first any rice that you want japanese rice i use brown rice with a little bit of sticky rice and then once it's cooked i uh, put it in the bowl and then mix it with um the porikake seasoning and then the rice um, seasoning a little bit maybe like um, two tablespoon of this it depends um, um, how you like the rice um, vinegar and then I bake the salmon and put uh, garlic salt and um, avocado oil or any oil and then I layer them like this I put the rice first with the seasoning and then the salmon, baked salmon on top. And then I put this um, Japanese mayo and I put more of, of the flakes on top and then I will bake it for 10 minutes. I'll be back because I will be showing you one more recipe. It's called how um, poke bowl. I guess I'm craving for this too. sorry but my little oven is at the back so now we're doing 
a poke bowl. My ingredients here is a sweet pepper. I have this seaweed, I have this um, edamame and cucumber, and I have avocado in here, which is I'm going to separate because my kids want it separate, and I like it separate too. And then I have um, kimchi, cabbage kimchi. I like to put it on, on top of it. And then I have my brown rice, or you can use Japanese rice or any rice that you want, brown rice with the um, sweet rice combination of it. And um, I have the salmon. We're doing salmon. You can do any dish that you guys like, um, but I'm doing salmon. It's um, part of that um, salmon bake that I did. So um, yeah, you freeze it so it's a little bit hard. And this is the, a fresh salmon as well. So what I usually do is I just combine everything like this. And then I have the sesame oil. So the seaweed actually that I use is this one. It is salted, it's really, really salty, but what you're gonna do is rinse it a couple of times, like 10 times, and then I actually microwave it for four minutes, and then I rinse it again. So that's the one, and the edamame, I bought it at Trader Joe's, so this is actually the one that I, I use the um, shelled ones. It's easier. So, I combine I combine everything because usually they just get something and then put it on, on top but for now I combine everything for a change. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I also um, Hawaiian soy sauce. I use this. Okay. Then so combine everything, the seaweed, the cucumber. I um, also want to put pineapple tidbits or um, corn, but I don't have any corn right now. So the pineapple is frozen. I don't want to deal with frozen stuff right now. It's going to take a while. I totally forgot to throw it last night. So that's how it's looks like and like I said I don't have any um, specific measurement so I'm just gonna since I love sesame I have to put probably that's two tablespoon of sesame oil and then your Hawaiian soy sauce maybe two tablespoon as well And I'm using a different um, Japanese. I have a lot of um, the rice seasoning. I have different kinds of rice seasoning. So let me show you guys. And sometimes if I don't have the Hawaiian soy um, sauce, it's actually a... a um, I usually get the low salt. I use this liquid aminos. It's um, artificial soy sauce, but it's healthier than the regular soy sauce. Okay, and sometimes if they don't have this um, that kind um, that I use for my sushi, I use this one. I buy the other one at Trader Joe's, but this one I saw it at the Asian 
market and they also have the one with the wasabi it's different flavors so they have more but these are the ones that i usually use so to give it a kick let's try the wasabi but i don't know if my kids would like it but i love eating this it's really really good i have simple recipe but i tried and keep I'm making this once because it's really good so if you guys don't have this you guys can put sesame seeds um, either a um, the um, black sesame seed or the white one so I put the wasabi seasoning and I put the regular one okay seasoning and then mix together it is usually good with the pineapple tidbits so if you like any veggies that you like um, it is okay to put I have this cabbage and I will put it on top I also have this um, mung bean uh, sprouts. I like it, but um, I use it for soup, but I, I can also put it here. So anything, any vegetables that you like, you can put it. The fresh one. And also, I have this um, ginger. Um, pickled ginger so it is really good on top of it so okay I think we're done let's um, I don't want to be putting salt um, but let me try to put the this is the salt that I usually use the Himalayan salt so let's put a little bit Just like that a dash of it try to put the lettuce this is a um, sweet um, lettuce head on top so let's chop up this I'm sorry I'm not ready with this because I totally forgot but when I opened the fridge I saw it so this is actually really good too my daughter likes this so much for watching so, that's very easy very simple recipe so let's mix them all together And it's done so let me plate it so this is how it looks like it's like a salad with the salmon um, cubes so you can cut your salmon any um, how big 
you want it to but I usually do the cube size bite size so let me so how you plate it is you take your rice and then put this on top with the seaweed and everything all the good stuff You can also, I, I also tried the um, tuna, but I don't, I run out of tuna. I usually have everything in the fridge, tuna and salmon or tilapia filet. But I don't have it. We only have the salmon, so let's do the salmon. And now we're gonna put Ginger, I love pickled ginger, so I'm gonna be putting a lot. Okay, and then you can put the pickled mm, kimchi on top as well. This is a big plate. A big bowl. And then you can put Oh, you can't see the, sa the salmon anymore <laughs> because of the veggies, but yeah, still good. You can put your the avocado on top. And there you go, guys. your poke bowl and then now let's check the this is so weird but i like to put um tabasco on top of it and also wasabi so now let's check our salmon Big salmon. Okay. For a minute. it's done there you go you guys it's time to eat so that's my big salmon you can wrap it with uh, the seaweed or you can eat it itself you can put wasabi on top of it if you like or the tabasco or more of the seasonings or the pickled ginger i like it and with the avocado on top and then wrap it with that and then this is my poke bowl that i mix all together i usually separate all the the ingredients and then plate it but i like it that way it's like a salad and that's how you plate it so yeah thank you so much you can message me if you guys want to know the recipe but this is how i do it it's very simple these are the rest uh, the ingredients that i usually use and i like to use so yeah thank you so much um, for watching and have a blessed and be safe always blessed day and be safe thank you time to eat